Hi everyone, right, redesign here um, for my lovely client Stevie and we have debulked all of her previous designs. She had that chameleon glitter and black set last time. Um, so debulked right back down to the base, I've done all the relevant prep to the natural nail growth and infilled with clear and now I'm going to do a glitter bells design. Um, yeah, I'm going to use all glitter bells coloured acrylics today and glitter arty glitters. Um, it's kind of like a bluey peacocky kind of mashup on this one um i will list all of the colors from glitter bells that i am using and remember that now i am a promoter for them there is a discount code which is my name kylie and there's also a discount code for glitterati and again that's my name but with a capital k right let's get on to the nails so this little finger, I'm just going to do an ombre and I'm using Palmer Violet and then I'm going to use Ocean Jewel. Now this was the most easiest ombre I've ever done. The colours, the two colours just, they were just made for each other. It just went so well. I've like done nothing and it's kind of just giving it an ombre. But then I just, I wanted it a little bit longer so I go and, and put a little bit more after. But so, so easy. Really, really, really easy ombre. Um, now Stevie loves a marble so we decided to mash up four different colours on this one and do a full marble nail like I've done on other videos um, always start the cuticle picking up two colours pick up your lightest colour first and then your darkest if you pick a dark and then a light it kind of um, just swamps the light colour and you'll lose it so pick up a light and then a dark and sort your cuticle and side walls first you're never going to see it again so it doesn't have to be tidy just thin and then wet beads in a diagonal motion. I'm right-handed, so I kind of go this way across the nail. I've found that students who are left-handed, if you run it the other way, it's much easier that way. Um, so yeah, not going through any of the same line again, just up through all of it and back under the rest, then back up through the rest of that. Um, so yeah, I use, I do a marble all the time. You must be getting freaking bored of it. I'm so sorry, but um, I just love them and they're so easy and quick. Um, I've got another video to upload where I've done that um, colour blocked nails by Yvonne Hart type thing. So yeah, that's a bit more detail, but marble's so quick and easy. Boom, done, looks effective, piece of this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put more glitter on this in a minute because I always like my sets to flow and it's all gonna have glitters and stuff. And I'm gonna use um, a new one from Glitterati. It's um, a chame chameleon glitter. So it's the purple one that I use in a minute and you don't really see it to its full potential. I think I could do with putting this on a full nail so you can really see the color shift in it. But yeah, I've used a chameleon glitter and a 008 metallic teal. I've got that dead sexy snot face again. Clients just keep coming and give me the lurk. I fight it and then they come back and just make me a little bit more rotten. So yeah, but I quite like it. Like I said before, I've got like this dead sexy act. I'm like, oh, look at me. I'm so posh and husky. So yeah. So, bit of a snot goblin at the moment, but I'm rocking it. Yeah, I feel great. Just sexual. Right, so yeah, glitter, 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 glitter. Love it. So, everything I use at the moment, I flip through between brushes that are my favourite. And this one is a Glitter Planet's Magic Stick, and it's a size 14. I love a massive brush. It doesn't matter if I'm doing teeny, tiny, teensy, intricate bits of glitter, or massive, full-on encapsulation. It's all with this brush. Once you know what your brush can do for you, the rest just falls into place. So, you know, I can pick up teeny tiny, teeny weeny bits of acrylic. I can pick up teeny tiny bits of glitter or I can pick up loads. I just got to know what my brush will do for me. The position of your brush is a big, big, big deal um, on what bead you're going to get. If you've always got it upright, you're only going to get a tiny bead. So I find that if I drag like away from me, I'm going to get a big one yeah big 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 and big is better big is defo better um and because like i've said in previous videos i like to keep my brush full of monomer that way i don't dry my bead out um so yeah nice big big brush doesn't mean that everything that i pick up is going to be massive you can do Teensy tiny, look at, look at this. This is so detailed. This is so fine. This is so lovely. But I'm using a massive brush. But I will 
then know that the tip of the brush can get in and detail and it can move things around and it can push things into places and it can do some really really fine intricate kind of stuff by just knowing what parts of the brush will do what for me so the tip that's where I'm going to use it for cuticle work um, when I'm doing my marbling the tip of the brush comes into play then the sides of the brush when I am shaping so when I'm doing like my reverses I'll push it into place when I'm sculpting I'll push it with the side of the nail side of the brush and then the body of the brush that is the big daddy that's the one that can pull stuff down it's the the weight the big big part of the brush so yeah so once you know what those parts of the brush can do for you it really doesn't matter what size you've got the only difference is the bigger the brush the more monomer that you'll hold I hope that makes sense in my head it's flowing beautifully but it might just you might be like what the fuck is she going on about but yeah I'll ramble on about brushes forever now oh my god that ring finger I'm going to put it on the pointy finger in a minute and it is called blue velvet from glitter bells it's so lovely it's so so nice um and on that ring finger we're then going to put some squared 3d jewels um yeah yeah they're called jewels but yeah I encapsulate them um and they're from Glitterati and they've got like a peacocky kind of color to them as well so they went really well with this set we were going to put it all over the nail but then when I looked at it and I was like do you know what let's just do a line of it because then we get to see that blue um acrylic um yeah it's just lovely and then I'm going to use it again like I say on the pointy finger but that I intend to rub a chameleon chrome on it at the end. So I wanted to put a dark similar colour underneath it. And you'll see it was so easy to work with. Um, again, yeah, I get lots of messages at the moment. What's glitter bells like? I said in my last one, it's fine. It's exactly the same. I'm looking for pigmentation when I'm doing design sets. And glitter bells has got it. Um, so I can keep my design work nice and thin.
boom, done. Time to encapsulate the whole lot. So we need to protect that glitter, make it go all matte and dull and bleh, horrid. Um, but just protect everything with a clear acrylic. I am using crystal glass from CJP. Um, so I'm going to encapsulate all of my design work. So it's nice and protected for when I come in with my file. Um, yeah, so I will just leave you a minute and then I'm going to come back because I'm going to talk you through my pigment and because I'm doing something, you know, like, no, fuck it. I'm not going to tell you now. I'm going to tell you in a minute. I'm going to make you listen. I'm going to make you wait. Wait for me. I'll be back. wasn't long to wait was it right so once i've finished i'm going to top coat them all um i'm currently using premier gel moi the shiniest um top coat ever and it's a non-wipe so like i said on that ring on that pointy finger i'm going to put a chameleon glitter so once it's all cured i'm then going to rub it all in to the pointy finger um with my finger because it's the best bloody silicon tool going in it really um so yeah going to rub it all into that and then before i top coat it I'm going to run my file along the edges, just like when you're using angel paper, you kind of want to expose that raw acrylic again, because if you try and top coat over the chrome, it's got nothing to cling to. So just, I'm running my file along the edges over the chrome, just to get rid of it, so that the top coat will cling to it, and there'll be no chipping, no peeling, no nothingness, just lovely, mwah. So if you've loved this video, and my ramblings, and my snotty face, um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I've got another video coming because I am on fire! Right, speak to you soon, bye!